to begin the base bracket drawing, we work all three views at the same time. We don't just work on the front view only, or the top view only, or the right side view only. We work all three of them together. In this video, you'll learn how to lay out the three views, space them correctly, and use alignment lines and a miter box, which will be here, to help you with that. To start, the first three measurements we need are four and a half inch width, two and nine sixteenths of an inch height, and depth two inches. What we're going to draw first are three rectangles locating the positions of the front view, the top view, and the right side view. Using layer zero, if you don't have layers, I'll be using the construction layer since I have that. First thing I will do is pick the rectangle command, select anywhere near the bottom left of my drawing area to start drawing a rectangle. The front view is the width and the height of the object, which is four and a half and two and nine sixteenths. To type that in, you type in shift two to get the at symbol. Then you type in the width first, which is four and a half. Use the dash and the slash for four and a half, comma, and the height is two dash nine slash sixteen. And hit enter. The top view will be two inches away from this front view. With ortho mode on, all you need to do is pick the line command, O snap to this corner, stretch up, type in two, and enter. Enter to finish the command. The right side view will be two inches away from the front view. Repeat that process, two inches. Using the rectangle command, draw the top view, O snap to the endpoint, stretch, at symbol for relative coordinate. The width is four and a half, comma, the height, in this case is the depth is the height of this rectangle. The depth is two, type in two, enter. The right side view, again, pick the rectangle command, object snap to end point. The width of the right side view is the depth and the height, so the first number is gonna be at two, comma, two and nine sixteenths. 2-9 over 16. Enter. So let me dimension what you just heard me say. The width of the front view is 4.5 by 2 and 9 16. The width and uh, depth of the top view is 4.5 by 2. The right side view has a depth of 2 and a height of 2 9 sixteenths. All these measurements found here. The space between views is 2 inches. Let's draw the miter box to align the top view with the right side view like we did with these construction lines for the front to top and front to right side view. We need a feature up here to transfer information from the top to the right and from the right to the top views. That's called a miter box. Pick the line command, O snap to an endpoint, stretch the line up beyond the length of this feature, repeat that again on the other side, and then for the top view, stretch from endpoint to endpoint, so you get an intersecting perfect square, two inches by two inches. Then draw a miter line from intersection to intersection. This is what we created. So this is called a miter box. This is called a miter line. We use a miter line to reflect details from the top view to the right side view, and vice versa. Details to the right side view reflected about this miter line to the top view. 